away. Matron, take them away! Oh. So let's have a look to see if we can find train line in the shares on my web trader. So I've come here, put in TRN, which is the ticket number it gave out. There it is there, train line. Pull that across. Well, what do we see? Now we see a nice pattern. Very good. How much does it cost? Well, it's a pound. I'm not sure whether you can see this. You just drop my head to the bottom. You can see. Well, it's telling me it's a pound a share here, pound a point. And if I just click that on, and it's going to give me an investment of £66 into this. So out of the balance, it would cost me 66 So how would I set this up as a trade? Well, if I don't need that, I'm quite happy with, say, the cost of it, pound a pop. I can just go right, indicators. Let's have a little look, moving average. See what we've got. Well, I want the 50, I want the 200, 50 in blue, just so that we can see it. We'll thicken these up. And a five. Okay, and we'll put that in black. Right. So, this side's a little bit lagging. Um, what you've got to remember between um, brokers and screeners, etc. The feeds come from different places, so they can change. But what that pro screen has done is it's pulled out a share that is high, highly profitable or highly possible. So you would just put this in a, in a watch list where you can kind of see where it's driving at. We've got a hammer here. All right. Now, I believe in letting prices come to me. So my entry point would be above that. Okay. So even if it crashes through, it's going to drag that up. So how do I work out a stop? Well, my stop is very simple. Down here. So what I'm looking for is there's the maximum stop down here. So that would be £32. So I, am, I would invest £32 into this. And then my first stage target would be up here for another drop line there. Okay. Just to give you an idea of the way I would look at this, um, I would drill into this a lot deeper, but that is the risk criteria or the investment. I'll explain that a little bit. And then what I'm looking for is a break even point here so i would just hold the investment till it gets there as soon as it hits halfway between one to one i would pull the stop up to break even to give it some room to breathe still because it's got all of this but also if it does turn around it's not gonna belt me too hard and all i've lost is time okay and then my aim would be to run this as much as possible taking off little sort of 10 percent every time it went halfway up or at new levels etc i'll set up a little spreadsheet for this because i do like to work with sheets now it's just a test and i'm dealing with pennies but basically if i was going to do this it would be train today's date uh, it would be open so it's not going to put any of that in pound in investment now i've just worked out what the stop is based on hiding it below a moving average would be 32 pounds so i have to ask some questions at this point you know that's 25 percent of that account if it goes okay whereas some of the others and i'll, I'll flip them on they're only pennies, you know. You want to trade the chariot, pennies, okay? And then you can keep your balances, and then each time I have a split, 
I can put it into there. So let's just say I triggered it and I took £10 off it. Well, it increases that, tells me what my running is, etc, etc. Thank you.